Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about leukonychia. So what is leukonychia? If we break down the word leukonychia, we're going to have leuco, which means white, onic, which means nail, and ia, which refers to condition. So leukonychia is a condition where white discoloration appears on the nails. It could be fingernails or two nails. Let's talk now about types of leukonychia. So, this is the general picture of leukonychia classification. There are two big categories of leukonychia. We have leukonychia totalis and leukonychia partialis. The partialis type itself can be divided into three different variations or subtypes. Punctate leukonychia, striate leukonychia, and longitudinal leukonychia. Let's discuss each category in a little bit details. The first category is Leukonychia totalis, and as you can see in this picture, there is whitening of the entire nail, and it does involve almost all nails, okay? Now, I just want to bring your attention to a little variant of Leukonychia totalis. It's what we call Terry nails. These nails are almost entirely white, except for a small or pink or brown at the tip of the nail. This aspect is known as ground glass appearance. Let's move on to the second category, which is Leuconychia partialis. And as its name suggests, the whitening does not involve the entire nail. It involves parts of the nail. And as we've already mentioned, Leuconychia partialis can be divided into three different variations or subtypes. So, the first subtype is punctate leukonychia, also known as true leukonychia. It is the most common form of leukonychia, and it's characterized by the appearance of small white spots on the nail. The second subtype is triate leukonychia, or transverse leukonychia, also known as means lines. In this form, we have white horizontal bands that run parallel to the nail base, but they don't cross all the way from one side to the other side. And this is in contrast to what we call Merhoek lines, where the white bands run entirely across the nail from one side to the other side, and the nail in between the white lines appears normal. Also, in contrast to these lines, they don't move as the nail grows, and they temporarily disappear when pressure is applied to the nail. It's because the problem here is not in the nail itself, but it's thought to be due to the blood flow beneath the nail plate. Okay? The third subtype of Leuconychia partialis is longitudinal Leuconychia, and this is a rare form. And here, the white lines run vertically from the base to the tip of the nail. Now, who is affected by leukonychia? Leukonychia can affect anyone, both males and females, of all ages and ethnicities. Having said that, let's talk now about possible causes of leukonychia. In many cases, there is no obvious cause. This is what we call idiopathic leukonychia. In other words, Many healthy individuals may develop white spots on the nails at some point in their lives without being of concern. In some cases, leukonychia may be a sign of an underlying problem in the nail itself. It could be minor injury or trauma, or it might be reaction to excessive use of chemicals in nail polishes, hardeners, and removers or sometimes it is superficial white onychomycosis. This is a fancy name for superficial fungal infection. In other cases, leukonychia may be a sign of serious medical conditions such as systemic diseases and hypoalbuminemia, which is low albumin in the blood itself can result from a variety of different causes such as liver problem, kidney problem, gastrointestinal tract issues, and so on. Sometimes, leukonychia is a side effect of drugs such as chemotherapy or a result of heavy metal poisoning. 
In other circumstances, leukonychia is caused by skin diseases like eczema and psoriasis, or it could be uh, one of the manifestations of some genetic disorders. And the last but not the least, leukonychia can be caused by some mineral and vitamin deficiencies, and this is especially for individuals who don't maintain a well-balanced diet. With that being said, the question now is, what is the treatment for leukonychia? All right, when the cause is known, that cause must be treated in order to be able to see improvement of the condition. When the cause is not known, there is no effective cure. However, the white spots usually resolve on their own over time as the nail grows. Taking good care of your overall health will definitely help speed up the process. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this topic. Thanks for watching.